presentation. And get us kicked off. So welcome everyone this week to our latest We Will Travel Again events. I'm very happy to be here with you. Thank you for joining us. This week's we, this week's event, we are touring the good old USA, and we're featuring a lot of tours that have national parks in them. Um, I've just got a smattering of them here on my home screen. Um, I've been to Mesa Verde myself, and I can tell you, this picture hardly does it justice. It's a really fascinating place. I have been dying myself to go to California to see places like Yosemite and Redwood National Forest, um, and of course, the granddaddy of them all, Yellowstone, but we are going to tour quite a bit tonight. I am joined by my friend and colleague, Barbara Canizio, who Hello. is from Congress. <laughs> Hello, Barbara. Thank you. How for being are here. you guys? Thank you so much for being here. There are so many great tours in Globus's catalog. Um, there really are just almost more than you can imagine, uh, for, not just for the United States, all around the world. I mean, name the place and they go there. Um, but we are focusing tonight on the USA and there are some really great benefits, of course, to going on a, on a tour, an escorted motor coach tour. And the, the, not the least of which, especially right now, is that, you know, because there are places that have limited capacity still, because there's a need to have enhanced health and safety protocols, going on your own can become an even bigger burden than perhaps it always had been. So now is even the most beneficial time to go on an escorted tour because they take care of all the logistics. Um, and they're not, you know, I, I, I used to tease about, um, you know, they're not your granddaddy's motor coach tours and they really aren't, they're right, not. Barbara? I mean, these are- Absolutely not. They've changed fun. so much over the decades. They're active, um, they're fun. You know, you get a chance to enjoy not just where you're going, but make new friends and socialize a bit while you're out on out, out and exploring. So there's a lot of benefits to touring. And I know Barbara will talk about a bit of that tonight. Um, so whether you're interested in going someplace, you know, really obvious like Mount Rushmore, or perhaps someplace you've seen in an old Western like Monument Valley, that we've got a lot of things to cover tonight. Uh, and for being here. And while I'm still rambling, go ahead and share your screen. You have another you're coming they in and out like tonight. And I were actually we were talking about how to engage Zoom meetings. So I thought I'd I'd kick us off with a poll tonight. So um, thank you guys for participating in that. Um, we have some really great um, place to go. So Barbara, why don't you go ahead and share your Absolutely. screen? Absolutely. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll give you some more talks about working with travel agents. Um, um, give you some more information about what's open now, um, because that's really something that's exciting too. Um, due in great part to our country's, you know, very assertive vaccination program this spring, so much of our country is opening up and parts of the world are really opening up again. So whether you're thinking about traveling in 2021 or in 2022, now is an excellent, truly excellent time to reach out to your travel agent that be me. And talk to us about planning that next vacation because so many people are so eager to travel again, whether it's at home or abroad, um, that availability is going to start becoming a challenge. And you want to have the best pick of the things that are out there so that you get the vacation you really want. So work with a travel agent and don't hesitate to pick up the phone or shoot us an email so that you can start planning that next dream vacation. So Without further ado from me, Barbara, why don't you take yeah. it away? Yeah, so you know what? You touched on so many good points in this intro. And I think one of the most important things that you touched on is the importance of having a travel professional behind you when you're traveling, no matter what it is that you're doing, especially in today's day and age. And we've been seeing this, oh God, since I think the really big thing that changed things was when the ash happened in Iceland. Yes. And so many people got stuck and they were doing things on their own or they were going to online booking uh, venues and there was nobody there to help them in time of need. So, you know, the professionals that are in this, uh, they know what they're doing such as yourself, Christy, I know this for a fact, and that you're accessible. 
So I think you touched on something extremely important, especially as we start to emerge in this environment that we're coming out of. Yes. This forced to hiatus that we have had. So, I'm so that tired means of these four walls. I'm so tired of these it's walls. been it's been a it's been an experience to say the least. Mm. So you know it is very exciting because things are coming to an end, and things are starting to open up, albeit slowly and and carefully. Uh, but the United States is open, and there's so much to see in our backyard. Um, so, you know what, the world is waiting, that is true, but the United States is part of that world. Yes. So we're going to take you on a little journey through our backyard, we're going to go through some national parks, we're going to go through some uh, other itineraries from coast to coast, we're also going to include some Hawaii, and some. Uh, we also do Alaska, so we're going to do some of that, and we're going to touch a little bit on Canada since there are uh, neighbors to the north, and that will eventually open up in 2022. And they they share the the beauty and the untouched scenery uh, that our national parks touch. So I wanted to do that as well as you know as we go through this journey. So a little bit about the company uh, that I am representing. And by the way, we're in a very strong partnership with Christie. Uh, and partnerships between suppliers and travel agents is yet another benefit for the traveler uh, because we actually offer the travel agent exclusives that you can't find anywhere else, but it's all about the partnership. You know, the, it, it's a perfect triangle. It's the supplier, the agent, and the consumer, which is you. And um, you have two entities that are supporting you. And I, I think people really tend to down, not downgrade, but they don't, they don't grasp the importance of having that support behind you. Christy could pick up the phone or email us at any time. And she knows 100% that we, if you, anybody needs help, we are there for her because she is a true partner. So I wanted to say that. So the Globus family of brands, we're 93 years young, and we actually are still family owned, which is an anomaly in itself. And we actually started in the pictures that you're seeing, uh, the, the car that you see on the left was our first motor coach. And the little boat you see in the middle was our first river cruise that <laughs> uh, crossed over Lake Lugano in 1924. And that's the original family. And now uh, it went through the generations and the grandchildren are now heading it. So it's still very family owned, which I love because it makes it very cohesive and intimate. And you don't have to answer to, you know, banks and, and investors and all of that. So basically we get the freedom to do what we wanna do when we wanna do it. And we can change as the environment of travel changes, which has happened in an incredible uh, way this year alone. Right. So what do we do? We have two products that we're gonna, uh, that do escorted travels. We're gonna concentrate on the Globus. Uh, it's the higher end of escorted touring, but basically anything that I go over, Cosmos has a Mira itinerary. If you're looking to be more savvy in your traveling, you want a little bit more uh, downtime or you know, you're looking to do a few trips and you don't wanna spend all your money on one. Monograms and Avalon, there are two other companies under our umbrella, one in independent travel and the other is our world uh, award um, recipient of the river cruising product. So always we ask why travel with Globus and you know what, this has been our thing for 93 years. We created a first class escorted tour and we put in the elements like just the right balance of included features, free time, we're about discovering and, and giving you hidden gems uh, that are out there that you wouldn't normally be able to see. We actually put in more visits on each of our, our, our itineraries, and we tossed in more experiences and more included sightseeing. 
So all of that is combined into a very, very uh, beautiful price point because we are so large, we're worldwide, we've been around for so long, and that means we have great buying power. So when we did envision the perfect vacation, what we wanted to look for was great hotels in the heart of the city. We wanted you to have the most amazing food, incredible sightseeing, and all, above all, above everything, what we wanted to do was we wanted to create memories. So we wanted to create these memories that you would take down with you as you go through the road of life, um, stress-free and carefree. So leave it all up to us. That's what we do. We're, you know, we're very, very in tune to everything that we do. So top-notch transportation is included, as I said, the hotels. The VIP, it doesn't sound like a really big item, but boy, oh Huge. boy, is it, val the value is unmeasurable. Really? We, right? It you absolutely know? is. That, yeah. that, that is we such actually, a Actually, Christy, deal. we call them our happy lines in the company because you literally walk to the front of the line, you never wait ever, and you get right into whatever you are visiting for that day. So these VIP lines are incredibly valuable. And then we wanted to, you know, we wanted to insert some free time so that you actually had time to do what you wanted to do and explore how you wanted to explore. And the number one thing that we have going for us are our tour directors. The tour director is actually the maestro. He orchestrates everything that goes on from the time you get off the plane until the time you depart your hotel at the end of your vacation. He is literally uh, has his hands on everything, but more importantly is that they are so passionate about what they do and they're, they're designated into an area that they're very highly educated in. So you won't see one in the national parks and then meet them again in Italy. They literally stay within uh, the realm that they are comfortable with, that they love, that they have passion for, and that they have the knowledge to share the most incredible stories. They bring everything to life. So this is actually one of our real tour guides and his name is Derek Ludgren. And he actually comes from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And I got to tell you, he does a lot of the national parks. And when I was on one of them, I remember watching him uh, watch how the traveler was reacting to the Grand Canyon. And he sat back very quietly after he explained the history of the Grand Canyon and all the pertinent information, gave you all of the details. And then you were let go and he just sits back and he was watching. And I went up and I said, well, you know, what are you doing? How come you're not? He said, Barbara, I swear every time I see somebody see the Grand Canyon for the first time, it actually brings tears to my eyes yeah. because they are so overwhelmed at what they're seeing. So it's really, it's just what we have in our backyard really goes um unseen a lot of the times and i and i think if you haven't done it it's something that you really should we have the most incredible palette in our own backyard we really do and 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 what you're just saying about your tour director maestro is a great word for it because <laughs> he is orchestrating he or she is really orchestrating everything but it also goes to speak to that level of service right? He's not going to stand there and ramble on for hours. He's going to give you what you need to know. And then he's going to let you take the time to soak it all up. It's all about the experience. And the it nice is thing that experience. And it's those kinds of moments that you will literally carry with you for the rest of your life. Absolutely. And, and again, they're highly educated. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a natural uh, interest of theirs for many, many years. So they have absorbed all of the knowledge and there's nothing, I can tell you this, and this is the truth. I did one of the national parks on my own. And at the end of it, I was exhausted because I was trying to get to places. I couldn't find it. When I finally found it, I was, you know, relative to reading plaques. And there was no story. There was no narration. There was no history. I mean, it was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. 
But then when I first, the next time when I took a tour, it was night and day. It was night and day. You just sit back yeah. and the information is fed to you and you have the ability and the freedom to just stare and soak it all in. It really so is life, right? That's, that's it, the difference. It really is. It's all about making the experience as authentic as we can. So we do a lot here and we've been doing a lot here. So we actually do have 27 tours um, that include the national parks in America. And we visit 26 of the national parks. Uh, we also have national monuments and national historic sites that we see, wild refugees, 10 national monuments, all of this. So I can actually say to you that we are pretty we're experts in this. And actually we are the largest tour operator that go into the national park. So that's something to be said. As I was saying before, we have two escorted programs. So if it was you wanted to do a couple of them and you wanted to be a little frugal on your pocketbook, you can actually do a Cosmos. These are programs that mirror, they're just not as long and they might not have as many visits as a Globus tour would. So that's uh, perfectly okay. The other thing that we do that nobody else is doing, and we've been doing this for quite a long time, on top of all of the included features that we give you, we also insert what we call local favorites. And these are included activities that we kind of take one step further by including key and local experience that truly, truly allow you to get the feel of the destination that you are traveling to. And it takes you to the things that you should be doing. So you're not floundering like I was when I went on my own. So it's uh, we do this all over our product line. So on top of those must-sees, which they are, we also give you a culturally driven, a more intense experience that's also included on our local favorites. So um, let's say, why Globus, right? Why should you travel with us when there's other people to travel with? And it's a really easy thing to explain. Uh, and it really comes down to two, uh, you know, to two or three really important things. So it's a perfectly planned, all of the logistics, every single one of the logistics are done for you. So we go out years in advance, usually about two years in advance, and we secure all of your entry fees. We secure all of your hotels. We secure everything that is needed to take a seamless vacation through the national parks or anywhere else that we uh, we go. Uh, and this is pretty important when you're, like I said, when you're a big company, uh, there are things that are open to you that other people don't all have because we are the largest one that go into the national parks. And in season, we stay inside the national parks, which awesome. makes, makes a huge difference. Awesome. Yeah. Even, even when you're not in those hotels, all your hotels are so carefully curated. You know, that gives me as the agent an enormous amount of confidence to be able to recommend these tours because you're not staying in a super eight, not to be, you know, just pish on super eights. But the truth is, is that it'd be so easy to inadvertently end up in a dumpy hotel when you plan these things on your own. It's happened. But, but, you know, <laughs> or, or with a lousy rental car and no GPS or the GPS only speaks in French. Like it's so easy to have a bad experience on your own. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the nice things about this too is that, you know, things happen when you're traveling. You do. You might have really bad weather and something is closed. Yep. What do you do if you don't have somebody who's orchestrating your That's vacation. Right. Right. So, you know, our tour directors, they do this all the time. And what they will do is they'll manipulate the program, but they will have something just as equally interesting and um, historical that they will take you to. So just the ability to be flexible when things come along that are unexpected, that happens all the time. 
So we are, we are incredibly proud of our tour directors. And actually on every single one of our surveys, and I know that you know this, Christy, the number one accolade we get is about our tour directors. Yeah. And they have a tenure with us for about, when I started this job 16 years ago, it was about 18 years. It's up to 23, 24 years. So they don't go anywhere. They stay with us and they love their job. They love the company. They love their clients. They love you when you come and they can share their passion with you. And honestly, it makes a world of difference. And the most beautiful thing is that you're together with a group of people that are sharing the same experience. They're there for the same reason. So the conversations that go on, the sharing of experiences, the quiet moments, yeah. uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful way um, to experience. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows what they're looking at. I know you do, but um, these are actually called the hoodoos, okay? So this is in Bryce Canyon. And actually, they're um, not a canyon at all. It's rather, it's a set of natural amphitheaters with tall reddish rock spires. And they are called hoodoos that rise from the floor. And um, these are the things that you will get as uh, you're going through each and every one of these national parks. Yeah. So that being said, let me introduce you to Steve. He is one of our tour directors, and he can say this in a much more elegant way than I can because this is what he does. So let's get this rolling. <coughs> Hi, my name is Steve Osten. Oh. I'm a guiding tour director for the Globus family of brands. I do a lot of our tour programs all the way from Yellowstone right on down to the Tetons, Bryce, Zion, and here to the beautiful Grand Canyon of Arizona. People often ask me, why is the Grand Canyon one of your favorite national parks? And really the answer is simple. You're looking at a gorge that's over a mile deep and 277 miles in length. The favorite part of my job here with the Globus family of brands is our interaction with people. Getting to bring a group here to a point like Mather Point and letting them look down into the depths of this awe-inspiring Grand Canyon is pretty amazing. There are times you get people almost moved to tears when they see the beauty and grandeur for the first time. I think it's really important to have a guide to talk about the history of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park or the grandeur of the majestic Tetons or the vastness of the Grand Canyon. Our tour directors at the Globus family of brands can really give the best touring experience to our clients through environmental interpretation helping them to understand the geology, the history, the natural history, everything that's taken place here in an easy and understandable manner. Bringing a group of people here to the rim of the Grand Canyon can be a really awe-inspiring experience in itself. Watching their compassion and kindness towards one another is only part of it. I mean, sometimes friendships are built where guests will meet on one tour, and two years later, you'll see the four of them back together again. I mean, that makes it really, really special. There are so many benefits to taking a group tour with the Globus family of brands when you come to a place like the Grand Canyon. For starters, you don't have to drive. We've got a professional driver that'll do it for you. Secondly, rooms. Trying to get rooms in a place like this that gets three and a half million visitors per year. Globus has booked your rooms more than a year and a half in advance, and that means you don't have to worry about accommodations. And certainly, having a tour director is gonna help you plan your time accordingly, showing you the best spots. One of the things that makes traveling with the Globus family of brands so cool is a program called Go Parks. We work in partnership with the National Parks Foundation, meaning that we and our travelers can give back to the national parks that we want to help preserve. If you travel with the Globus family of brands on any one of our national park tours, you're going to get a wow moment almost every single day, and it's different every time. One day you might get a grizzly bear defending its kill from a pack of wolves in Yellowstone and maybe the next day a river otter that's harassing a family of beaver. Or you might just come here to a place like the Grand Canyon and enjoy the beauty and grandeur of this majestic gorge. If you travel with the Globus family of brands, every journey tells a story. It's a pretty cool place to go, honest really to God. Is. It's just an amazing thing. So um, 
Yeah. So what we're, oops, I lost that one. So here is actually a picture of the Grand Canyon, which is quite amazing. Um, and what I'm going to go over here now is uh, the classic uh, Grand, uh, Grand Classic for um, the national parks. And this is, I keep on going back. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually want to just show you because I'm not, I don't want to go over this again so you know what I'm doing when I go past it. So this is a Go Park Tour. And as you can see here in Las Vegas, you have a green circle and a red circle. So this is your start and your end. So this tour actually starts and ends in Las Vegas. And it hits the Grand Canyon National Park and you're staying there one night. Then you're going over to Monument Valley and for one night and you can see how this is going. So this is a 14 night, 15 day tour of all of these parks. So you're gonna go into six national parks. You're gonna see Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse. And there's um, so many things that are gonna go on with this. And this is really the exploring of Americans uh, national parks. So this is a pretty fast paced but you really get a taste of just about everything that we have to offer as far as this type of a national um, park experience. So it really does cover a lot of ground. It really. Does I wouldn't want to drive seeing. that route by myself. No, thank no. you. No, but look what you're ground. doing. So you, many parks. Oh my God, it's incredible. So many great places to stay. And there are a bunch of overnights in there. The dark circles are overnight. Some right. of them are more than one. It's a really really amazing way to see the West, so the way see, that we all kind of picture national parks. Exactly. So you can see in uh, Mount Rushmore, uh, you actually are doing two nights there because there's so much that is concentrated in that area. So we'll go by Mount Rushmore, but you'll go into Custard State Park. You'll do Crazy Horse. You'll do the Black National Forest. You go and you visit Deadwood. So you can see how many states that this actually goes through. It's an incredible, incredible vacation for those of you who would like to have a taste of everything. And then maybe your second run, you know, you could get more intimate with whatever state or park that you want to go back to. So what I'm showing you here now is the Grand Canyon Lodge. And this is what I mean about the perks that we have. So this is actually the hotel that stays inside of the park. And the advantage of doing this is more than twofold. You know, never have to worry about coming in and coming out of the park, but animals, they eat in the morning and they eat at the evening as sun rises and as sun sets. So these lodges are set up in the back where they have the most incredible open fields and the animals come in. So you can actually sit back there with a nice glass of wine or in the morning with a nice cup of coffee and whatever you're eating. And you can experience this feeding uh, day after day so that you, you're really in the middle of everything that's going on. And you know, when the tour ends and you wanna walk around the park, you could you just leave your lodge and you go walk, you experience, you explore. Um, and this is where your experiences come in. So it's really an incredible thing to be able to spend time there. And it gives you the time to just sit back and relax and enjoy the environment that you're in. So I think that's a really cool thing to do. And I have to tell you again, I've stayed in and I've stayed out and there is no comparison. So I'm sure that this might look familiar to you. For anybody well, jump who ran down that road. Yeah, <laughs> it is mile 13 on Scenic Highway 163. Uh, Forrest Gump is the one who made this really famous in his epic run in uh, the 1994 film. And behind you, what you're looking at is Monument mm -hmm. Valley National Park. So this is an iconic spot. We stop, we allow you to go out do all of your, you know, this is one of my co-workers that were with us. Uh, any of the things that you want to do picture-wise, it's really, it's really, you know, pictures can't do this type of uh, vacation justice. 
but I think you get the gist of it. So you do. I mean, honestly, that that spot out there, Monument Valley, and Grand Canyon, I felt was the same way when I went. It's almost like you feel like you're standing in front of a giant poster because you cannot believe how beautiful it is. It can't be real. And then something ridiculous will walk through, like a cow <laughs> or a condor will fly through and you're like, oh my gosh, it's real and it's huge and it's amazing. It's so true. It's the way you want it to be and 10 times better than that. You know, it's almost like trying to capture a rainbow in a, in a picture. Yeah. It's so hard to do. And especially with the parks, because this is not a small area, it's vast. So you might be able to zoom in on one thing, but trust me when I tell you, you're going to come home with hundreds and hundreds yeah. and hundreds of pictures as we all do, right? right. <laughs> and my experience too has been that the people who work in these places and live near these places, they're so gracious about the tourism. So you're going to meet people, you know, like when you go to the shops or when you're talking to local artisans, you're going to chit chat with them and, and you know, whether it's a trip in the United States or abroad, you're going to get another, a whole other set of experiences by just interacting with the locals. You know, it's one of my favorite things, Christy, every time I'm on vacation, well, whatever I'm traveling, yeah. wherever I sit down to either have breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, a glass of wine, I always ask who's serving me. How did you, how did you end up here? Right. What was very unique about the uh, national parks, which I didn't know uh, prior to traveling there is that, there are so many retired people yes. in the United States that actually are hired by the national parks mm -hmm. and they go in as seasonal workers. And uh, I mean, it's just amazing it, to see. Yep. I, I, I never knew it existed. So they really do afford opportunities for all of us to um, spend some nice time there. If you wanted to do it, you could sign up for it as well. Yeah, I met some really great veterans that way, chit chatting with them. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's all this whole thing is cool. Travel is cool. So it's yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're looking at here is Monument Valley National Park, and what's really nice is that we actually take you out on a four wheel drive Very into cool. the valley, so you can get a, you can get surrounded and take in all of this incredible beauty and scenery. And there's also the opportunity to share um, the local trends and the local lore and all of the inside stories and all of the myths that come about. Uh, so this is very unique. It's uh, it's an incredible it's an incredible addition uh, to the national park trip. So that's one of our local favorites. I know we all know what this is. Good old Mount Rushmore. But actually, it's not a national park. It, it never has been. However, it is the most visited memorial and attraction uh, of all of the parks. And it has, on average, over 2 million visitors annually. Wow. Uh, so that's pretty incredible when you think about it. It's not even a park. But everybody, you can't go without stopping and, and taking a, a look at this incredible carving. So... You'll also be able to go into a uh, tour, the Crazy Horse Memorial, and that's a memorial uh, that was built in honor of the fearless Suez Indian chief, uh, whose fame is derived from the Battle of the Little Bighorn. So these are the inside stories and histories um, that you'll be getting from uh, the tour directors and the local <coughs> guides. Mm -hmm. So here, what we're going to take a look at is American Canyon land escapes now what differs from this okay it's in and out of las vegas but you see the word escapes and i will let um christy give more information for for this going forward when you decide that this is something that you want to do i brought it up because it's a unique way to see the parks outside of the height of the season so these programs run from October through November, uh, for the most part. In the parks, it goes through December because we actually have winter park tours. So they're very, very um, beautifully priced uh, yeah. because it's not the height of the season. It's what we call off-season travel. So if it's something that you're interested in do, I'm sure that Christy would be more than happy yeah. Uh, to go over all of the programs that we have on the escapes. There are so many great um, 
different destinations among the escape packages. And I do love the fact that they're off season. There's a lot of benefits to going off season. You even said it earlier, Barbie, you can fit maybe two vacations in the course of two years because the budget fits, maybe they're a little shorter and then you can do two vacations instead of one really long one during the height of the season. You know, it, it's a way to kind of get more bang out of your vacation dollar, which is great. Um, and, and, you know, there are other benefits like you might have to pack a jacket but it's less crowded. Well, you know so. what it is that, you know, just like here, every season that we have takes on a different personality and Absolutely. the parks are no different. Actually, the parks are very severe in their personality changes, as you can see by the snow on the grass here. And the things that you're afforded to see in the summer, you don't get to see in the winter and vice versa. Yeah. And one of the other benefits of doing a tour as opposed to doing it on your own, besides the fact that you know you have to get to A, but you don't know how to get there, is the fees that are attached to entering all of these. So as you can see, this is a $35 entry fee per vehicle. But when you're seeing six national parks on an itinerary, you know, that's a big savings along with everything else that you get. But I thought it was an interesting point that maybe we should go over. So that's what I did. So on this one, this is the American National Parks. This is Rapid City to Salt Lake. So this is another part of the United States that has a lot to offer. Um, so what happens here is that you're gonna be starting in Rapid City for two nights. And actually this is where the mining boom uh, might have been like, it, it was there about a century ago. But it, actually, it's never too late to strike gold in the American West. So you'll have an opportunity to pan for that as well. Oh, cool. uh, you, you know, it dazzles with nuggets all over, right? That, that would right. Be cool. And then the National Park Vacation takes you deep into the golden wilderness. And it's full of untamed South Dakota, Wyoming, and Montana. So you're really getting into multiple states with this one. You have back-to-back -back visits to some of the country's most renowned national parks uh, that bring you face-to-face -face with the monumental sculptures of Mount Rushmore again, and the explosive geysers of Yellowstone National Park, which is a magnificent park, by the way. If you only had to pick one, that's the one I would go to. I've been to it multiple times. I never get tired of it. And you also get to visit the towering spears of the Grand Teton National Park. There's also visits to Crazy Horse Memorial, Little Bighorn Battlefield, the Gold Rush towns of Cody, Jackson, and Deadwood. Um, it just sheds some of the light of the 19th century's most famous battles and the bar, uh, barroom brawls. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're very unique. You know, they haven't. They've kept the integrity of the towns. They're yeah. small towns. Uh, Jackson was amazing. Cody, you know, the one of the oldest bar stools are in uh, the Jackson uh, ja in Jackson Hole. So they have a they have very um, laid back atmosphere, but it, you really feel like you're living or experiencing the life that they lived in the West uh, many moons ago. So it's really it's. It's really an exciting place, very different. Lots of turquoise if you're into turquoise as well. Yeah. So right. um, yeah, and there's animals everywhere. You're gonna see animals, you're gonna see the elk, you're gonna see the bison, you'll see the moose, you'll see the grizzlies, you'll see all of that. And then you'll end in uh, Salt Lake City, which is a an experience on its own where you'll have one night there. So it's really quite an experience again, the beauty is unsurpassed by so many things that we think are so unobtainable right. abroad, we have in our backyard. Yeah. So I wanted to show you a picture of what Old Faithful looks like in the winter. Uh, so you can see the difference in its personality and its uh, topography, it changes. Wow. But she's right on target. What is it, every half hour to 45 minutes? She's on the clock. <laughs> She is. She doesn't change too much. <coughs> so if you wanted to try something a little different about the historical trains of the Old West. So this is in and out of Denver. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can always extend if you wanted to. 
but you'll hit Colorado Springs, down into Santa Fe, Mesa Verde. I know I heard that before, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll be on railroads. So very love cool. the train. This, this has become a, a more interesting of late to me, I think. Yeah. You know, I, I know other people have done partial train trips in the past. I, my, my one uncle, he talks about a, a trip he took like that, you know, 20 years ago. But it's it's captured our collective attention again, I think. It has. Years. And so you get that taste of rail travel on a trip like this. Yes. Not the whole trip, right? It's not the whole No, circuit. it's not the whole trip. And there's no, other ones that we it. do. Really there, there's sporadic yeah. trips. So you're, you know, you you have a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, but you know, what's beautiful about this is that when you are doing the rails, you're going through unspoiled scenic areas because mm. these, you know, the, the uh, scenery is just breathtaking mm -hmm. and you'll get that in Colorado as well as New Mexico. Oh, yeah. And again, it's off the beaten path. Uh, the U S West is just the ticket to chunk through untamed beauty of the Royal Gorge abroad. You're going to be on the Royal Gorge. I can never say this in one word. Royal Gorge route railroad. Say that three times <laughs> fast, right? Uh, and it does. It goes through magnificent messes and canyons of San Juan National Forest abroad, um, abroad the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gorge. Um, goes through some rugged areas with the splendors. Uh, it's just an amazing amazing um beautiful thing so the mesa verde uh which is ancient cliff dwellings uh, chimeo's famous pilgrimage site it goes through glenwood springs historical hotel colorado which was a favorite place for president theodore roosevelt so there's a lot of history here um and there's a lot of cool things that you'll be doing I know you know what this is, right? Yeah, I, it's honestly, it's, it's a beautiful, it's, it's, it's actually really breathtaking. It is, it's very. So cool. this is Mesa Verde National Park. These cliff dwellings of Mesa Verde National Park, they lie about 7,000 feet high. And they're some of the oldest Native American archeological sites in the US. Yes. So it's really something to behold. Really it's nice. beautiful. I mean, just take a look at that. How how they did it is beyond me. And there's there's more than one uh -huh. walk in there. And I, I know that's something that's true on a lot of the tours that um, you offer, where if you're a little steadier on your feet or a little more uh, active, you know, okay. the, your guide will say, hey, you know, this you can take this path. If you're a little more, you know, like maybe not too active, don't want to overdo it. There's a there's a simpler walk. So they're constantly catering to your individual needs on tour so that you can still appreciate everything that's in front of you, but at your own suitable. And I'm level. glad you brought that up because, you know, some people really think that they're not physically in shape to do right. the national parks. So if you were going to be putting a backpack on your back and you were going to be climbing in and out, I would say, yeah, that's probably a true statement. But it's really not because we we do, like she just said, we take care of your level right. of um, ability. Right. So things that you can't do, that's fine. We'll meet up with you wherever it is. Go enjoy where you are now and you can't do it. You can't do it. No judgment. You know, right. this is all by your decision, what you feel you can and can't do. But the beauty of it is even if you don't get to um, take that activity you'll still walk away with the wealth oh gosh wealth yeah. of experience it's yeah, just like, amazing like you said before those tour directors they know how to make it special for everyone yes they do they really do they really are worth their weight in gold and i i don't say that lightly i truly mean it i really do so that's Mesa Verde. it's a quite amazing <coughs> so another one we have is canyon country but this is the eight day so this is a shortened version of it, and it starts in Scottsdale. It goes up to the Grand Canyon National Park. You hit Monument, Lake Powell, Bryce Canyon, and out of Las Vegas. So for anybody who is uh, looking to extend their time at the, uh, <laughs> the, the slots or the tables, this is one for you as well. So I wanted to show you a picture of the hoodoos again because I find this just fascinating. They are. So 
Do you know what the hoodoo, what the word means? Does anybody know? It does. It means to be bewitched. And Ooh, that's like why that. Price Canyon's rock formation surely do. They are mystical in their bewitching. And so, yeah, that's where the word comes from. That's neat. To be bewitched. So these actually go as high as 10 stories. Um, and it's really a marvel. So that's the hoodoos. So I'm going to take you over to Alaska for a while because, you know, Alaska is open right now as well. Right now. Yes, yes. Right and now. We, right now. And we not only do land, but we also, as you know, Christy, we combine land and cruise. Yes. So you can you could do both. And honestly, there there are some programs like this one where you don't even have to put a cruise to Alaska because you're doing the Kenya Fords and you're on a boat and you'll see all of this. So I just wanted to let you know. So again, this one is going everywhere you need to go. You're in the Delta Junction, you're in Fairbanks for two nights. Here comes the rail. You're gonna take the rail over um, to Big Lake and the, this is all in the Denali National Parks. And then you'll end up in uh, Anchorage where we'll do the Kenai Fords and this is just a spectacular, spectacular 10 day trip. So and there is an opportunity for you to take advantage of that this summer, right? I mean, Alaska- We're, we're running, yep, we're Alaska running. Alaska season is, a, is predominantly a summer season. Absolutely. Like so we are running. Yes, we are. So I we're love it. Available for this right now. You know, yes. I think a lot of people always associate, oh, I have to plan ahead for Alaska. And normally that is true. Um, that you'd have to kind of plan this year for next summer. But because of what has happened of late, there's actually availability right now for this summer. You know, and what's I interesting right about that too, is you know that the cruise lines just got, mm -hmm. just got an okay to go ahead. Mm -hmm. We were open two months ago. Yes. Or, you know what, time is eluding me. So let's say a month ago, whatever it was. So we've been selling this because people were looking for an alternative yes. to the cruising. Yes. And it's just, it's a no brainer because you're getting into the land yes. um, much deeper than you could ever do on a big cruise. And that's not to say the big cruise isn't great. It's a magnificent product. This just adds a lot more because you get into the culture, you yeah. get to meet the people, you're in you know areas that cruise ships just can't get. And you're still seeing um the ice and the glaciers and all all the things that you want to go the dolphins everything that you want to see yes. in alaska you know one other thing i'll say about all of these tours they um they all come and go out of big cities which makes airfare very simple for me to arrange for you no matter where you're coming and going from in the country which is really important but they also go to small towns and that is a really important thing because we're going to patronize on any of these tours small businesses and so many small businesses across our country are ready, ready, willing, and able to work again and to see new tourists come back in. So it's another great kind of see America first. Let's do something yeah. here in our own backyard. You know, and they're local. What they make locally is just amazing. It is. Like I said, when I was talking prior about the turquoise, when yes. you go into these areas, it's wood, wood carvings. I mean, there's so many beautiful artisans that are in our in these areas of the parks that's how they make their living it is uh, so it's just yeah. yeah it's pretty cool yeah so this is denali national park Look and at it is actually was formerly mount mckinley uh i know people get confused is that mount mckinley? yes they're one and the same and honestly this is north america's highest peak it stands twenty thousand three hundred and twenty feet in the air uh, it's majestic it just is majestic and it sits on are you ready for this six million acres it's pretty pretty prolific <laughs> so look at the beauty in here it's untouched it's just beautiful i don't know if i could live in the cold like that but boy visiting is is a is a whole nother thing for me personally <laughs> right <laughs> so here are some of the animals that you might see these are known as the big five just as in africa has their big ones so does the united states and alaska and it is the moose the bear the doll sheep the caribou and of course the wolves so 
these are just some of the animals that you'll come across. Oh, yes. <laughs> I did her on puppy. Oh, my yeah, gosh. This is very cool. So one of the things you'll get to do as well, <coughs> my th throat is drying out. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay, Donna. Have a sip. Take a breath. I ran. I ran out of water. <laughs> I have a sip, Barbara. You gonna, 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 You got more to cover. These are the Iditarod puppies. They're amazing to interact with. Everybody I know who has a chance to do this activity, this activity that gives kids and adults alike. I mean, whether you're a dog lover or not, whether you know much about the Iditarod or not, you're going to learn about them. But it's yeah. such a cool experience and to see how they're raised and just get some, you know, puppy love while you're at it. And not only that, we actually, uh, we have a, a Ditterod champion. His name is Martin Buser, and he is the one that handles our clients. So you'll learn from him firsthand how they race, how they care for the dogs. We also get a demonstration of the mushing and the complete with a mock-up of I did a rod checkpoint. So you're going to get the whole experience. And of course, you get to play with these beautiful animals. So cool. It's just so cool. This is a once in a lifetime experience. So this is the cruise in Kenai Ford National Absolutely. Park that you'll be going on. So when I said you won't be missing this, you certainly won't. So uh, I wanted to show you what you would be doing here as well. Um, so you certainly get a chance to see orcas and yeah, like the, you said, the other animals that are, are that are coastal. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so let's go over to California. So this is Northern California. And this is a pretty easy trip because it's in and out of San Francisco. But you get into Lake Tahoe, Yosemite National Park, you'll hit Kings Canyon National Park and Monterey. So this is pretty, this is a pretty cool, um, if you've never been here to see the Sequoia National Park and these magnificent trees. You'll hit uh, so on King. my list. This is yes. so on my list. I haven't done this either. I'm embarrassed to say, but I'm saying it anyway, right? This is so on my list. I've yeah. always wanted to go to Yosemite and Monterey and see the mighty sequoias. Yep. You also get into Kings Canyon National Park, into Yosemite National Park, Lake Tahoe, and then you'll go over to Sonoma Wine. That does not yes. sound like a bad idea. Yeah. No, I mean, while you're there and all. <laughs> Absolutely. So here is the falls uh, in Yosemite. It's just breathtaking again. And then again, who doesn't want to end your day with some nice wine and wine region? We actually, this is one of our local favorites that you'll be taking. We take you into Gloria Ferrara Caves and Vineyards, uh, which is really a nice thing to do. And you get to just, you know, hang out and you'll, you'll have dinner there as well. So this is just a beautiful, it's a beautiful, relaxing way uh, to enjoy the wine country. So how about Hawaii? Anybody interested in Hawaii? Boy, do we Hawaii have a lot to never Hawaii a bad too. Idea. Never a bad idea. Never a bad idea. <laughs> and it's open, open as we speak. Yeah. So this one is the best of Hawaiian islands. Obviously uh, you could read this, you're, you know, you'll be going to Maui and you'll hit Kona you're in Honolulu. Uh, so this is, um, for those of you who, you know, this is Honolulu in the background. What you know, the first time we went to Hawaii, I don't know how many of you have actually gone. I was quite surprised um, that the water was still so beautiful and it was really as relaxed and gorgeous as I anticipated it to be. Because I was anticipating a city that I'm, right. I'm familiar with, right? Right, right. Yeah. You think, oh, Waikiki Beach, it's going to be... Yeah, it's not going to be chill, what I right? thought. But it was, you know, what we did too, which is, you know, you, you get to see um, the history there. And then you get yes. to go over to the islands and enjoy that as well. So we actually have four different programs into Hawaii. Um, we have three with Globus and one with Cosmos, I believe. Uh, and we have 10, 11, and 13-day 13, 13 programs. So I also want to let you know we partner with Norwegian Cruise Line on the Pride of America. So if you wanted to do Hawaii and you wanted to do the cruise as well, so you could do the land portion and then get on to the, uh, the cruise, Christi 
Christy can uh, arrange that for you. And we actually, we have um, contracted with them for many, many, many years. Yeah. So we actually hold inventory over on that. So Hawaii is always an option, right? Always. And you get to see the Volcano National Park, uh, which is just amazing. I mean, to see this uh, is crazy. It's crazy. You know, some of the areas that you go into, you just can't even believe that something could grow there. And then out of nowhere, you find all of this vegetation. Right. It's a pretty it's a pretty good thing to see. Yeah. So you'll get, you know, sightseeing into the Kilauea Center, the steam vents. You'll learn about the lava tool. You're going to visit the visitor center so that you get all the history of what what uh, Honolulu and Hawaii is all about. There's so this is the pride of America. This is the ship that we are partnered with in Hawaii. So like I said, if you wanted to do a trip around the islands, uh, you could certainly do that. And do many know what this is? So this is a picture of Hale Haleakala Crater. I can never say it. Crater Halikala. on Maui. <laughs> hey, what was it? Halikala, I think. Halikala, there you go. I'm not sure. Uh, I should have I should have phonetically put it in, but I didn't. Haleakala. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Haleakala, there it is, Donna. Thank there you. There you go. Thank Donna. you. And this is on Maui. So just something different. You would never think you would see this there either. Kind of looks uh, ominous, but it's beautiful. It's otherworldly. I mean, one of those one of those cool things about Hawaii is a lot of people will think to go to Hawaii and stay in one island. But the truth is, is the islands are all very different from oh one Oh my another. God, are they? You no, know? I mean, even if you just do the big island, Maui and Kauai and Oahu, they're so radically different from one another. Yes. So taking a tour that includes multiple islands, whether that's the cruise or a tour like this or both, um, you're really experiencing something so different. And like so, you said, there's, there's so, so much of the native culture um, interspersed throughout the islands for you to learn about, appreciate and engage with. I mean, it's not just luau's. And, so, and remember, you also have your tour director with you and you also have all the local uh, hosts that come on that, that, you know, are specific to certain areas that will give you uh, history lessons that are incredible. And it's amazing to me how much these people retain as far as uh, facts and dates and history. It's just, they really bring it alive. There's no yeah. question about it. So I'm going to take you into the Majestic Rockies, uh, Vancouver to Calvert. This, by the way, when it opens, I would so strongly you put the Canadian Rockies on your list because the Canadian Rockies aesthetically are below the American Rockies out of the water. It mm -hmm. is so beautiful there. Um, I, I was stunned the first time I went there. I, I, my mouth was ajar. I was just taken away by the beauty. So this one is starting in Vancouver. It ends in Calgary, but look what you're doing. You're, you know, you're taking a boat ride from Victoria up to Whistler where you're going to spend two nights. You'll go into Sun Peaks and then you're going to go over to Jasper National Park. Um, it's into um, Malai um, Lake and then down into Banff National where you're going to see Lake Louise, which is just beautiful. And then you're going to spend some time in Calgary, which is actually such a beautiful place. So interesting, has so many different things to do culturally um, that it, you could go there multiple times and not see uh, and all of it. It's just incredible. So this is Banff National Park and Banff, Banff is, I don't know how many adjectives can you come up with the beauty of, of nature? Uh, yeah. it, it's really hard to do. Uh, but it did have humble beginnings. And you know that Banff actually started as a very, very small hot spring reserve. And the park now consists of 6,641 square kilometers of unparalleled mountain scenery in the heart of majestic Canadian Rockies. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> this is Jasper National Park. And this is the largest national parks in the Canadian Rockies. It also has the wildest um, of the mountain parks and it's home to the world famous Columbia ice field. So what is an ice field? 
Oh, that nice. is a nice field. <laughs> That's some special tires on that there bus. Yes, and it actually, you're going to do this. And this is the only way you can actually get onto the ice field because it's the only one that's accessible by road. Wow. So pretty cool. Literally. And we also do the Rocky Mountaineer. So again, with the trains, but I did this mm. and it's spectacular. So what was told to us by the people who run the Rocky Mountaineer, this is the only public train that's allowed to ride these railroads. So this was built for work. <coughs> Construction people, people who were mining the mountains to build a railroad. And it goes through the most incredible areas I have ever seen. The accommodations are amazing. They have the glass domes. It's all luxury. The service is impeccable. So we have this, that actually in and out of Vancouver. So this is a beautiful itinerary. And again, you're into Whistler, Jasper. You'll see the lakes again. You'll spend some time in Banff. And uh, it's just incredible. So just another alternate. And that right now, you can think about planning the Canadian trips for next year. Absolutely. So these are one of the gardens that we go to. Oh, this yeah. is called Bouchard Gardens, and it's over 100 years old. Uh, the photography, the plants, and the flowers are just overwhelming. It's one of our local favorites, and from here, we're going to take you in for a beautiful dinner. So that's that program. Now we're going to come back to the States. And this is music to your ears it's bourbon bridles and bluegrass eight days out of louisville and uh, into louisville and out of nashville so this is an intoxicating uh itinerary literally <laughs> literally so it's bluegrass state obviously uh it's neighbors tennessee north carolina so you're going to go through some of these areas <laughs> And you'll be, um, you'll make your way from the bucolic horse country and the Great Smoky Mountains to the south. Uh, you're going to see Asheville, Nashville, and Chattanooga. You'll take the rings in Land of Mars, Mint Juleps, and Mandolins with a special evening of bluegrass entertainment as we visit the century old bourbon distillery, hence the word bourbon bridal and bluegrass, right? A Lexington thoroughbred horse farm we will be visiting um, a legendary uh, Brown Hotel to taste its famous hot brown open face sandwiches. So the worthy sites that we're gonna be doing on this, you're also gonna be cruising along the South, the most scenic highway to the majestic peaks and even more imposing mansions to the region it's known for in the shadows of the blue ridge mountains george vanderbilt's grand biltmore estate welcomes you for a guided tour on the 250 room home the largest privately owned home in the united states and to the farm to table lunch that you will be having in its boutique a bistro line antler hill village it's just unique the Farm to Fork Lunch at Antler Hill Village takes place in the historic refurbished horse stable. And the chef will come out and speak about the food they're eating, you're eating. Uh, and just make sure that you save some room because you're gonna be going out on the town in Asheville. And that's known uh, for its low key vibe and it's very high number of micro breweries. So this has a little bit of everything. Yeah. On it. Yeah, right. It's a, again, beautiful country. This is the infamous Brown Hotel. So I wanted to show you this in Louisville. And then we are going to take a trip uh, to the National Farms. And this, <coughs> this picture is actually a picture of um, uh, the um, Smoky Mountains. So. This is the Great Smoky Mountain National Park that you're looking at. And it's not only a national park, 
but it's also UNESCO, UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it has over 11.3 million annual visitors, twice the number, listen to this one, I didn't believe it, twice the number of the Grand Canyon. How about that for fact unknown, right? So one of the local favorites that are on this one is in Lexington, and it's an opportunity to get up close and personal to the champion who race and breed careers have come to an end and they live very well afterwards. Uh, you get to spend time with them, you get to pet them, you get to, you know, just have one-on-one -on -one, uh, with them. Uh, it's a highlight, uh, it really is. And it, for people who love animals, this is a really big hit. It's the retirement uh, farm. We should have this for us though, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't mind. <laughs> So here is the program that we are going to go over, Yellowstone in winter. Remember I was saying oh, yeah. what a different personality it has. So you can see this just right from here, you know, how it takes on a different, uh, just a different aura. Uh, so I wanted to uh, let you know that we do do this. There's no question that we do. And yeah. you get into Grand Teton National Parks and you will see uh, the incredible herd of animals that are coming in. This you don't get to see during uh, during the summer. It's too crowded and it's too hot. The animals are inside the bush like right. as much as they do in Africa. Right. So um, it's, uh, it's a very unique, different experience for any of you who love the winter. Uh, yeah. You get some really good excursions on this and local favorites as well. So very, very unique. Another picture of Old Faithful in, in the in the winter time. So I think from now I'm actually gonna call it a, an evening about national parks, but I do want you to really feel very assured that anything you could possibly think of concerning your health and what we're doing on land as well as our ships. Uh, is very much under control. We have spent an incredible amount of time putting together our program. So rest assured, we have you covered. It is a safe and warm welcome. We're blending the culture, social distancing. Now that things are lifting, you know, we will, we will evolve as our environment evolves. So, you know, this is all about being committed to one another's health um, and to respect one another's, um, you know, just your integrity on what we're doing. So, which is a beautiful thing. Along with that, we wanted to make sure that you had, um, you had the flexibility and the security that if you woke up two weeks after you booked it and you said, you know what, I'm not feeling it, I don't wanna go. You don't have to have a reason. We call this peace of mind. And what we do is we allow you to move your program to another date, another year, that this will go into 22. And we're actually thinking about, uh, according again to how things un unveil themselves, we'll talk about if it go has to go into 23. But for now, it's for the end of 21 going into 22. So as you know, as long as you uh, move your dates and you uh, actually can even move your product line. So if you didn't want to go to the national parks and you decided to do a river cruise, you could put your money towards that. So there's no penalty um, as long as this is you know done from. Uh, there's a time frame that has to be done that Christy will know. If anything cancels, you can move it as well without penalty. Right. So peace of mind travel. I, and actually, that's where I'm going to leave you, except to say, look at that, arches. It's so beautiful. And I promise you, you are in really great hands for anything that you want to do travel-wise. Christy is a true professional, very educated, and she knows what she's talking about. She really <laughs> <Thank> does. <you. laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. That was very nice. Uh, 
Is that, what you that was quite the whirlwind tour around North America, man. We covered a lot of ground tonight. That well, was I, I apologize. My mouth is dry and my water is empty. It's not <laughs> <laughs> well, I get to do some of the talking now, so you can talk for a minute. Um, so I, again, you know, we covered a lot of ground tonight. It's a great way for you to get, quite honestly, a taste of Globus's catalog of, uh, uh, of tours for North America. There are so many different things, um, so many different trips. So whatever captures your attention, um, it could be a piece of this and a piece of that. Let's talk about it. Because the truth is, is that there really is a trip for you. Um, there's no such thing as one size fits all. And that's part of the benefit of working with an agent. It's my job to know all the benefits and all the value that are in all the different tours. And my job is to find out from you what it is you are interested in doing and also what you're not interested in doing. Um, so that it's a totally tailored trip for you. My goal is to make it a completely stress-free experience. So in addition to all the wonderful things that a Globus trip already includes, I'll also be taking care of things like your air. If you need a transfer to, from your home to the airport, give you advice on other things. If you want to, you know, your trip ends in Vegas and you want to stay two extra days there, or your trip ends in, in Nashville and you want to spend an extra time there, that is something that you can count on me to just put together the whole package for you. And now more than ever, and it's always been something I've prided myself on, I'm your advocate from start to finish. It's my job to make sure that you make educated decisions about the vacations you want. So, to, so part of it is setting expectations. Part of it is just letting you know what's available and what's not available. And now it's also about making sure you're comfortable traveling in an environment that is changing. And to that end, I have been, um, certified as a travel safety verified agency. I've taken a great deal of courses and they are ongoing because the landscape is constantly changing. Um, and you can browse my website and see some of these guides and stuff right now to kind of educate yourself, but also know that it's my responsibility to know what's going on in different destinations, what kind of experiences you might have with different tours or cruises or resorts or what have you. So that again, you can make confident decisions about the next vacation you hope to plan. So it's really important to work with an agent, like I said, now more than ever. So, you know, now what? Now you've gotten your, your mouth's watering over all these wonderful things that Barbara's been sharing with us tonight. And I do hope you think about it. I mean, I know that's th that, you know, there's a lot of hurdles for a lot of people to consider before they plan a, their next big vacation. Um, sometimes it's a, it's a, I don't know if I can swing it financially. Sometimes it's, I don't know if I'm feeling quite ready to take the trip. Um, sometimes it's, I don't want to fly all the way to the, across the country. There's a way to satisfy your wanderlust in any situation. Working with an agent will help you find the way to knit together that vacation, you know? So talk to me. And the best way to do that, of course, is to contact me. Now, I do want to mention that I always, I'm always offering a little special perk. So if you choose to book your next Globus vacation, it's actually any vacation in the Globus catalog. Um, doesn't have to be any of these. I'm going to personally offer you um, an extra $150 voucher towards that vacation from my agency um, if you book between now and the end of June. But Barbara is even going to sweeten the pot a little bit more. Just a little. Just a little. So it'll be $100 per person from me. So you can, and those, those discounts that are being offered is in addition to any promotions that are applicable at the time of booking. So right now, if you were looking at 2021, we have promotions, but if you were looking at 2022, uh, right now they're at 10% discount. So um, it's a small window, but there's a lot that still is. So you get your 10%, your money from me, your money from her, and you just start layering it on and right. you can get to where you want to go for a, a really nice price point. That's true. That's true. So how do you get a hold of me? Well, most of you are already <laughs> on my mailing list, but there are a few new faces in the crowd tonight. So if you are interested in getting a hold of me sooner rather than later, by all means, please pick up the phone, call me, shoot me an email, and you will be added to my emailing list already. Um, as far as follow up to tonight, I'm going to email all of you a link to the online brochure about Globus's North American tours. 
So you'll be able to flip through the actual book, get, you know, see all the beautiful pictures, but also see some of the more details that Barbara was talking about um, on any of these itineraries and more. Um, but I encourage all of you to follow me on social media. There's always something going on. Sometimes it's a promotion, sometimes it's something else. Um, and to go on my website, escapeartistholidays.com, where you'll see this photograph. Um, it's the, we are, our, our latest quarterly contest giveaway is a river cruise in Europe through another partner, Ama Waterways. So I do encourage you to click on that photograph and enter the contest because you do have to be in <laughs> And you can always see what other events we have coming up um, in the next few weeks. We're, we're, we're probably going to slow this down and not do it every week over the summer. We might be doing it um, once or twice a month instead. Um, but we've got Greece coming up with Celestial Cruises. We've got Rocky Mountaineer coming in to talk about <laughs> specific train travel, which is totally cool. So there's some great stuff that's coming up on the horizon. Plus, you can also see past videos of all these other spectacular places, whether Barbara's been my guest or somebody else. We talked about all these fantastic places all over the world. The last one Barbara gave was about Peru and it was fantastic. <laughs> you so, know, it's funny you should talk about Greece because Greece is open right now as well. And we're also a partner with Celestial. So we, oh, we yes, use them. Yes. Clients. So they see how things us. work out. <laughs> Greece is open right now. Yes. Is, uh, Iceland. Costa Rica, Iceland, the United States, yes. France is France. We're waiting for France, London, and Italy to get yes. all of us on just to get the last nuances put together. But we suspect that'll be happening, fingers crossed, relatively soon. Soon. So don't hesitate to reach out to me about whatever is your next dream vacation. Let's talk. Let's shoot some emails back and forth. Let's get the, get the juices flowing. Like I said, now's a great time to book whether you want to travel in this year or next year because everybody's hot to try and we all want to get out of these four walls. I want to thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, guys. And everyone have a I know we ran a bit over tonight, but honestly, if you guys have any questions, reach out to me. It's yeah. been such a delight to have you guys here. Have a wonderful night. Stay and safe, stay healthy. Memorial and be Day. Well. Yes. Yay. Bye guys. Thanks, Thank you. Have a great night.